Hello friends! Welcome back to Hearts and Smart. I have an article I wanted to share with you today. I found this article a few weeks ago on my suggested list on Google, um, and so it brought up an article about homeschooling. I wanted to share my thoughts on this article as well as share the article with you. I've already read a little bit of the article. I've read the first couple paragraphs, but the rest of the article I have not read, so it'll be new to me as I'm responding to it, just as it is new to you if you haven't seen this article yet. So the article is called, A Harvard Homeschool Expert Says He's Not Convinced Schools Should Ever Have Closed. And this is an article from insider.com. Right off the bat, I'm questioning, like, how does somebody become a homeschool expert? Um, I think probably every teacher, every educator has mixed opinions on homeschooling. I mean, for me personally, I knew a few people who were homeschooled growing up. Almost all of them had trouble adjusting to life in the regular school system. Um, and that can be homeschooling on virtual school, which wasn't as common back when I was growing up, or homeschooling with a parent or a nanny being the educator at home. There are pros and cons to homeschooling. It's just a matter of how many pros you think there are and considering how many cons there are. Me personally, I think homeschooling can work if it's done right, but oftentimes it's not done right because the reasons for homeschooling are not the best reasons. So that's my thoughts on homeschooling, but I don't at all consider myself an expert on homeschooling. So I wanna see what this expert on homeschooling says. So this article was published on May 23rd, I'm thinking aloud to it, on June 4th. After much deliberation, most schools across the U.S. made the tough decision in March to close their doors and move to a remote learning platform to help stem the spread of the coronavirus. Uh, yeah, that's definitely true. And some of these schools who made that decision did so at the very last minute. I know the district that I live in, not the district that I work in, but the district that I live in, they made the choice to close literally the Friday afternoon before spring break. So they had no time. Schools were already out that day. It was made very last minute and it was only because I believe at that point there was a mandate from the state of Florida. So it was kind of a last minute decision. It was all of a sudden, nobody had time to prepare and nobody thought it was going to last very long at that point. This was back in March, early March. Despite the overwhelming consensus to shut down, James Dwyer, a visiting professor at Harvard Law School who co-authored a book on the history of homeschooling and its shortcomings, doesn't think that was the right choice since it could inevitably lead to children falling behind academically and potentially enduring abuse from adults in the home. I find it odd that he's a professional or an expert in homeschooling, but he's a visiting professor at the School of Law. Now I realize there are some overlaps in that, but to be an expert in homeschooling, I feel like you would almost have to be an expert at education and how education works, educational theories, um, the differences between learning in a classroom and learning at home. I don't think law could really help you very much there, but he does bring up two valid points. Um, everybody was concerned about children falling behind academically, and abuse at home is definitely a concern. Since everybody's been closed, since society's been on lockdown, there have been a rise in domestic violence cases as well. Continuing on with the article, homeschooling can foster an environment for abuse. A 2014 study found that 47% of school-age victims had been homeschooled and 29% had never been enrolled in school. I am not convinced schools should ever have closed, Dwyer told Insider. Given what we know about relative vulnerability to the coronavirus, the shutdown decision arguably amounted to a prioritizing of the welfare of certain adults over the welfare of children. 